Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle has emerged as one of the most beloved Dragon Ball games in recent years. Since its inception in 2015, Dokkan Battle has fostered a robust community of dedicated players worldwide who have congregated across various online platforms, shaping many of the prominent spaces we see today. The game has even propelled the careers of some of the largest gaming YouTubers in the Dragon Ball fandom. Given the immense popularity of the Dragon Ball Z series among younger audiences, it's no surprise that the game has experienced a metric rise in popularity. As the game's community continued to expand, numerous individuals began carving out their own niches within it. This led to the emergence of private servers, where players have access to all units typically obtained through various expensive in-game purchases, making it infinitely easier to obtain them. Though private servers only began gaining traction within the community in the early 2020s, the interest in them was significant. Recognizing this opportunity, many of the largest private servers expanded their reach to other corners of the internet to nurture and expand their own communities. This approach proved particularly popular among members of the Dokkan community through platforms like Discord. However, as is often the case in online communities with significant age gaps among its members, some unsavory individuals tend to emerge. So join me on today's episode of Dokkan Archives as we talk about Dokkan Battle's biggest degenerates. The Dokkan Entropy servers had its fair share of issues. One of the biggest controversies stems from a user named Gohizi, a moderator for the server when a Twitter user made a thread called the End of Dokkan Entropy on December 6, 2023. In the thread, we see Gohizi go over his long struggle with depression since he was 14 all the way up to 2022. He begins to state that during his episodes, he began to relieve himself to anything remotely sexual in nature, Con being one of the main takeaways due to him forming a porn addiction. Soon after, he states that he has grown out of it and deeply regretted coping in such a way. Despite this, soon he begins to add that what had snapped him out of being in such a bad spot was the fact that he had a little sister, who at the time, he barely spent any time with. Around mid-2022, he started to spend more time with his younger sister, soon developing a sense of responsibility as her older brother to protect her. Sadly, this was not the end of the message, as he begins to go into more detail about the contents of the things that he'd relieve himself to, with the images being of similar builds to his younger sister. The thread continues to reveal two additional names, Free Oddity and FLLP. It becomes apparent that both Free Oddity and FLLP defend Gohizi, attributing his behavior to nothing but mental illness and asserting that he has since grown out of it. Moreover, they attempted to conceal all messages related to the topic, indicating a concerted effort to evade accountability. It also comes to light that Gohizi had created an alt account that was secretly operating inside the community. Funnily enough, on September 9th, 2023, a conversation between Gohizi and FLLP surfaces in screenshots. In the exchange, Gohizi makes a statement, claiming to have connections with private investigators capable of taking care of an unnamed individual. What can I say? This Dokkan shit gets really serious. At around 4.44 a.m. in the Dokkan Entropy Discord server, a ping goes out to everyone, claiming that Free Oddity has stepped down and that new ownership has been taken over by Just Nephi, another member of the Dokkan HP server. In the messages, he made it clear that he was disappointed by the revelations on Free Oddity, FLLP, and Gohizi, claiming changes were going to be made to the server for the better. Subsequent to the thread made, Dokkan Entropy's official Twitter tweeted out an apology letter made by Free Oddity. In the letter, Free Oddity extends an apology for the actions that surfaced on December 6th, shedding light on a series of regrettable decisions. Initially, he reflects on his forgiving nature, recounting the close relationship they had with Gohizi, who played a significant role in the community. Claiming that Gohizi's departure sparked a mixture of emotions like fear, anger, and ultimately a desire to believe in his redemption. However, as details emerged, it became clear that their trust was misplaced. Gohizi's disturbing confession revealed a troubling pattern of behavior, prompting a reevaluation of his choices. Despite being aware of Gohizi's actions, they failed to take immediate action, a decision they grew to deeply regret. Furthermore, their delay in addressing Gohizi's alt account also compounded the situation. Clarifications are also made regarding grooming allegations made because of their involvement in various controversies involving him role-playing as a 16-year-old girl. Free explains that their involvement in them was misinterpreted, rooted in harmless dares rather than malicious intent. Nonetheless, they express remorse for any discomfort caused and emphasize their commitment to maintaining appropriate boundaries. Ultimately, he acknowledges the breach of trust and the irreparable damage inflicted upon the community, accepting responsibility for their actions and acknowledging the possibility of permanent fallout. In an effort to mitigate further harm, they announced plans to step down from their role, entrusting the server to a more capable successor. Once again, Just Nephi responded in the Dokkan Entropy Discord, this time at 4.40 p.m. Notably, he explained that Free had relinquished their role as the owner of the Discord and transitioned into a developer for the server. This development was acknowledged by many community members, including DetruitDT. A few months later, additional screenshots emerged in a thread originating from the Dokkan Entropy Discord server. Much of the content depicted members hurling slurs 
with the thread creator themselves being exposed for using slurs targeted at the LGBTQ community. This revelation only served to intensify the already prevalent hate surrounding Dokkan Entropy. With the refusal to make any substantial changes to the server's rules to help better regulate some of its more problematic members, following the bullying of an autistic user, many members in the Dokkan Entropy server and even the mods began to leave. While Dokkan Entropy still has plenty of active members to this day, there is no doubt that Dokkan Entropy's image and overall legacy in the community is tarnished.